All right, what's up guys? Today we're gonna talk about crazy benches. Um, I used to bench like this. If you go way back in my videos, you'll see it. You see a huge problem for me. And I feel like it happens with newer benchers. You come down nice and fast and you dive bomb it. Um, and you lose all that tension because you're trying to bounce that weight up. But guess what? One, you're gonna lose power. That power is gonna leak because you're unloading that nice like rubber band you're stretching. Um, and number two, in a competition, you're gonna have to pause. And those judges are gonna say, hell no. Um, something that really happens often when you do that is you lose tension and then the way up your elbows flare and then you really shrug up the weight like this and that's not an efficient movement pattern at all. So today, I'm gonna go over something that can help you understand. Like if you do it once, like a little drill, um, that can help you kind of understand how to bench better um, and more controlled. And then also, number two, how to do tempo work and pause work um, in order to really ingrain that nice movement pattern, actually loading the right muscles and strengthening those ranges of motion that you're just dive bombing, okay? So we're gonna go over here to do our drill. All right, so I have a pretty intensive setup here. Um, and actually, this is kind of like a reverse bench row. Equipped lifters do it a lot because it is something you, they have to really pull that bar down because they're wearing a suit. Now, we're all lifters, we don't have to do that. So this is not really an exercise, more of a drill for us. So I have a PVC pipe here. You have a barbell if you had heavier bands, obviously. Um, and what I'm gonna do is a setup for my bench here. And a cue that helps me keep tight is tall chest. And a lot of times I tell my clients to row the bar to your chest because that's actually controlling the weight down rather than just letting it fall down on you. So we're gonna grab the barbell or the PVC pipe, whatever. Even if you just wanna grab the band so you don't have a PVC pipe. But I'm thinking tall chest, okay? I unrack the barbell and I'm rowing it down, bringing my chest to the bar, squeezing, keeping my elbows in the same position that they would be, because guess what, if you don't, don't vomit, this won't let you do it, but it would be woo, woo, like this. But if you're controlling and rowing the bar down, you know, imagine it's your regular bench, squeezing and controlling, all right? So, when you go back to the regular barbell, um, that's what you'll be thinking, tall chest, rowing it down. So now we're gonna talk about tempo work and pause. So we'll go back the barbell. I'm often program this for people who have trouble controlling the bar down, they're dive bombing and they get so used to it. It's just like people who run, the same people usually, who, which used to be me too, run up to the barbell and grip and rip it and they don't get any tension. Or they squat and they use their awesome stress reflex, but they get end up getting stuck right out of the hole. It's the same thing because there's not a lot of tension. And it's okay to be a fast lifter, as long as you're a controlled lifter, okay? So this is gonna establish control. It's not gonna be super speedy or fast, but you're gonna have more time under tension, you're gonna build strength, build muscle, and just like, you know, be able to imagine you doing a regular barbell at regular speed. So the first thing I'm gonna do is the tempo work. Um, you can do this three seconds down, five seconds down, 10 seconds down, um, but I'm gonna do five seconds down and then a three second pause on my chest and then explode up and make sure that when you're bringing the barbell down, we don't speed up at that bottom range anyway, because that's where we're trying to increase that strength there, because you have not you know, done any strength work right there because you've dropped the weight on you every time. So, just do this tempo work, get tight just like you normally would. We're gonna unwrap, bring it over your chest. We're gonna come down five, four, three, two, one, one, two, three, and explode up. Notice how I'm not going five, four, three, like that, okay? Because that's, we wanna be nice and slow. And remember, the whole time, you're rowing the weight down, okay? Something else I might do is a, um, a spoto press, which means that half, or a little bit off your chest, you're gonna pause and then press up. Now I might do that as another accessory because that means you have to control it down enough so you can pause nice and tight before you explode up. 
um, you have a point where you have to pause a little bit early. Now it's not going to strengthen this end range of motion right here, which you haven't um, you know, strengthened, but we can definitely add that in as an accessory. Um, so tempo, spoto, long pauses are definitely your friend if you're someone who dive bombs their bench.